Um, Elena, obviously, you made the unfortunate choice to withdraw today. What, what's keeping you from, from taking the court today? Uh, yeah, well, I was not feeling good already yesterday and the day before, so I didn't sleep two nights and uh, had some fever. And today I really tried on the warm-up, but I feel that uh, the right decision is to withdraw because uh, it's really tough to, to play with these uh, conditions. All right, we have time for a few questions. Raise your hand, please. Elena, we're really sorry to hear your news today. Could you tell us how you felt coming in to Roland Garros? What have been the biggest challenges for you over the last few days? And what are your emotions right now? Yeah, of course, of course, I'm really upset to not be able to, to play. But uh, I guess that's life and uh, there is a lot of ups and downs and today I just wanted to give 100% and obviously I'm far from being 100%. And uh, yeah, I was uh, actually coming positive here, but as I said, uh, you never know uh, how you're going to feel and uh, was unlucky for me. And uh, yeah, I just tried to recover and do my best to be prepared for, uh, for the grass season right now. Sorry about this, uh, Alina, but can you tell us how you're feeling? Is it is it a fever? Is it body ache? Or just, can you just tell us what the symptoms are? And uh... Yeah, well, I saw the doctor and uh, they said that actually it's a lot of virus here in Paris. And uh, yeah, I guess with my allergy, immune system just went down and I picked up something. And as I said, I was not sleeping well two days. Uh, I had fever, headache. Uh, I mean, I think you can hear also. Um, so yeah, it's, it's difficult to perform and obviously uh, to run and even breathe. So I think that was the only right decision we could make. Hi, Elaine, I'm sorry to have to be speaking to you under these circumstances. As did you start to feel the symptoms after your second match or during the day of your second match? No, actually it was, bless you, <laughs> actually it was, yeah, actually it was uh, after my second match and uh, yeah, everything was going well. Uh, I, I don't know, it's just uh, out of a sudden I started to feel bad and uh, it was not better at all, so. Okay, a couple more questions. Just follow up, did the doctor put you on any medication or is it just rest and fluids and that No, kind of course, of? Uh, uh, I got some medication and uh, as soon as I started to feel bad, uh, I took everything what I could. But um, I mean, health is health and the body just uh, needs some time. I also played a lot and uh, yeah, I think I just need a few days for sure rest and uh, see how it's going to be. Obviously, um, considering what your health is, what's your plan for grass, and, and uh, what are you planning on playing if you are well enough to play? Yeah, uh, for now I focus for sure to get better, but uh, the plan was to play Berlin, uh, Eastbourne, and Wimbledon. And there is not many tournaments on grass, but uh, what's important to get uh, healthy again. And yeah, th that was the plan. When you made the tough decision not to compete today, what was telling you that decision? Was it your body? Your, I'm sorry? When you made the decision today, what was telling you that decision? Was it your body? Was it your head? Or was it your heart? Uh, well, I think it's just overall feeling that uh, I cannot stay on the court more than uh, 10 minutes. Uh, I do one rally and it's just uh, and it was just the warm up from the middle of the course. So if I cannot breathe, uh, there is no chance I can even run and try to compete. So I think that's, uh, that's it. Okay, we'll leave it there to give you a panel of court. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Good luck.